Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brooke, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Monday, August 10th, 2020. And today, a little bit different angle, always talking about some form of gratitude and things that can help you to focus on what you have versus what you don't have. And I have a couple of tips that came from a uh, article I found recently. Uh, put your career vision into action. Put that vision onto paper by designing a career vision bullet journal page. Break your vision into three goals followed by your favorite boss quote of the year. Below that, write out at least three actionable ways you're able to achieve those goals over time. Draw out at least 10 boxes at the bottom to color in as you start working on that goal. Uh, number two, level 10 your career. Pick 10 areas of your career you would like to level up. Create a graph with each goal on the vertical axis and then number one through 10 on the horizontal axis. As the years go by, as the year goes by, you can really start to hone in those goals, start coloring the boxes in to the right of each goal until you have leveled up your career goals. Good idea. Encourage continued education. Whether the company you work for has a developmental budget or not, research online programs or local events to grow your skills. To stay accountable for doing so, create a study schedule or work schedule each month with at least four things you would like to complete. Add this to your resume or reference and your next work review will be there for a salary boost. A uh, Couple more things. Have your passwords all in one place. There's nothing worse than being locked out of your accounts because you can't remember your passwords. Design your own password vault with every password you would ever need. Categorize these by business, personal, and family accounts. Keep track of all the books you read. Draw a bookshelf filled with books you want to read. As you complete each book, color in each outlined book for your shelf until each one is colored in. Underneath your shelf, add the title of the book you read and give it a rating of one to five stars to reference when your friends ask which ones are your favorite. And the last tip for today, map out your ideal productive morning routine. This is always a great thing, I think. And remember to make part of that routine, your gratitude journal, to focus on everything you have in your life. Uh, and you're thankful for and grateful for. Your morning, your morning set the tone of your day. When you have a productive morning routine, you're able to complete far more than sleeping in and rushing to work. Design your ideal morning routine in, in the form of a timeline. Review this before bed or right, before, or right when you wake up to make sure you start your morning off on the right foot. So some good tips for today just to be thinking about how you can make your life a little smoother or make it something where you can keep track of things a little bit better. But that's the daily gratitude news for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, be grateful and never quit.